We are in a very, very dangerous time in our nation's history, in the history of the world indeed, where too many institutions and leaders see a major world war as their best way out of the mess. Mike, I agree with some of the points you made in this video. Others, though, the way it's framed, I disagree. The biggest reason I oppose a new world war is because the United States is going to lose it. I think the main point is we don't want more people killed and our very civilization put at risk. I don't think the main emphasis should be win-lose as far as looking at these wars because I don't see how you could even consider it a win when so many Americans and Iraqis and Afghanis and others have been killed. So where is the win in that? I think labeling any of the previous wars as wins really doesn't mean anything considering all the casualties. And I think that's the main reason why we don't want to have a World War III. But I agree that we should work together to prevent that. And he mentions the White Rose. Because a lot of people may not be aware that in Germany, as it headed into Nazism, as it started down the path to a war that saner heads knew could not be won. There were a group of very courageous and brave individuals within Germany, mostly young students, who called themselves the Order of the White Rose. The White Rose was a nonviolent intellectual resistance group in Nazi Germany consisting of students from the University of Munich and their philosophy professor. The group became known for its anonymous leaflet and graffiti campaign lasting from June 1942 into February 1943 that called for active opposition to dictated Adolf Hitler's regime. Mike, if you lived in Nazi Germany, I assume you would have felt horrible to find out you were actually doing things which had the effect of undermining the efforts of the White Rose. Well, this channel's efforts to get the word out and distribute flyers publicizing information intended to help prevent a possible world war is being undermined by what you were doing. Mike, you have helped at times, like when you gave a big boost to the video featuring James Moore saying that the gorilla in the room is U.S. support of Israel. But the way you have relentlessly pushed the 9-11 conspiracy, it's amazing you agreed at all to post that video explaining what motivated the 9-11 hijackers. It's a wonder you posted it at all because it talks about the reality of what the 9-11 attacks were about. I don't think what you were doing to the public is fair. People are assuming that you were exercising due diligence when you post things on your website. But with regard to 9-11, much of what you have posted on your website is not accurate. It doesn't become accurate just because you refuse to discuss it. You haven't even made an attempt to have a dialogue about the fact that the pre-collapse visual evidence disproves the claims being pushed by people like David Ray Griffin. The fact is there were pre-collapse signs that the building's structural integrity was being undermined by the fires. When I uploaded this video, the first video I uploaded to YouTube, I thought I could put this ridiculously cruel misdirection of controlled demolition claims to rest. When you push David Ray Griffin's claims and refuse to give a fair hearing to the evidence contradicting his claims, you were doing a disservice to the public. Click here for our